Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got a little mail. Santee, do one on lariats, Nancy Sarver. Hmm, Riata's in the Old West. Let's do it. What do you think? Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines the lariat as a rope used to catch or tether livestock. Well, you can see that. And I paraphrased it, so, uh... Why, you insolent malefactor! You villainous transgressor! Lariat is a derivative of the word vriata, which is Spanish for tie or rope. In some circles, it's also known as a lasso, but that is typically a stiffer rope, so the noose at the end, used to go around the animal, stays open when thrown. All have a Honda. Uh, no, wrong Honda. It's the loop that the rope slides through to create the noose. Hondas can be knotted or made out of rawhide and even metal, like the one shown in this photo. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Dick Shore from the Empire Ranch. You've been working on ranches your whole life, haven't you? Well, I was raised on it there in Canelo, on the west side of the Chicken Mountains. Oh, is that right? Ranch is wow. eight miles from the border. Wow. Yeah. How long have you been making these? I started my first hide when I was 11 years old. And so Jeez. working, but more rapidly in the last 35 or 40 years, really, that I've done this more, and I've been teaching it to, to people uh, all over from Oklahoma and Texas, clear to California, Nevada, and Wyoming. Just, well, what's an important thing that you need to know in order to make these? Well, you gotta be not afraid to handle a hide from a cow, because I started the cow, the hide is raw when I get it, and it's wet and it's dirty. And then you have to stretch it out on a stretcher, 10 by 10, out in the shade. And then once it's dry, then I cut out these circles here. And I'll get six circles out of a hide. I soak the hide for two, out of two days so it's real pliable. Then I start right here and I'll start going round and around and around. And that's what this is. And so, uh, when I do that, then I got this piece right here, and then I got to recut this again. So this is actually two strings, if so you, you really want to say. Half. Pardon me. You have to split that. Yeah. Split that. Is yes. That okay. In this riata here, there's 600 feet of rawhide, and so I've had to work it with a pocket knife or this oh, knife six times. So that's 3,600 feet of yeah. working. Through String for one riata. Wow. So it's three quarters of a mile. Oh my gosh. So if you think of that, stringing this piece out, clear out, you know, it's, that's a long way. It's a, a lot of work. How long is this riata? That's 80 feet. What were you going to ask me? Yeah. If you knew the difference, why a riata is 60 to 80 feet and why a poly rope is 35. Um, because yeah. Poly rope when you rope it, it brings it to an abrupt halt. Yeah, roping cows. When you rope and when you rope with a riata, when you get your cat and it stretches the riata, and if you don't have enough, it's going to snap it. Oh, I see. Okay. So they want play in it once once they rope whatever the object is, the calf or the cow or the horse, whatever. Interesting. Then after you do that, then you start braiding it. You, you have to put it bundled up and it's called molote. Molote. Yeah, molote means that like a hair bun, a Hispanic the women put these behind their head, they call them molotes. Oh, okay. We call it a, like a ponytail or something like that. Uh-huh. And then... It's like a big ball of yarn, right? Yeah, I like that. What I'm doing is demonstrating here is how I stretch this to make this tight. I take this top string, I put it in here, I put it behind my weight, and I pull it like that, it tightens it. Then I'll go to the other side and do the same thing here. I go to all four strings, and that's how I make it tight. So that's, it's, it's not coincidental. I also know that you use um, uh, tallow or something, right? This is sheep tallow right here. And sheep tallow and saddle soap right here. And this is what I, this is what I use. Uh, and I massage it into the strings as they go because it slides together tighter. 
Ah, it doesn't strain, make it st stronger. It just is just in there. But then after I finish braiding the riata, then I rub, rub in beeswax and sheep tallow, which is usually kidney fat. And you'll feel this here, and you'll feel it. It's kind of oily. Yeah. And that's yeah. definitely that's waxy because, feeling. Yeah, that's more of a preservative. Rope lengths vary depending on the region or job. In the bush and cactus, a short one would be employed, and on the open plains, a longer one would suffice. The riata is an essential tool when dealing with livestock, and its introduction to the Americas by the Spanish is a large part of ranching culture. Native Americans also used them. Cowboys on horseback will usually carry one on their saddle within easy reach. Head loops and heel loops are commonly used on the range with the riata. During branding season, a calf is caught by its back legs to immobilize it in a technique called healing. This allows the others to brand and immunize before the rancher frees the calf. Throwing a lariat is a video in itself. There are so many techniques used, and the pros make it look effortless. I can't get this. I'm not good with ropes. I can't even take the string off a bakery box. Watching an experienced rancher rope is jaw-dropping. Turn around as it goes by, just rope it. Nowadays, economical riatas are made of nylon or some other synthetic materials. You can certainly buy one made out of cowhide or hemp, but they tend to be pricier. Makes sense since they are handmade. The art of roping is very much alive and can be witnessed on ranches and rodeos. I'd like to thank the cowboys and cowgirls who swing a lariat as part of their daily routine, and folks like Dick Shore, who make them with his own hands. Y'all may not realize it, but you're keeping the spirit of the Old West alive for future generations. Hi. Well, Dan, hey, I was pretty impressed with that information you gave about Riatas. Well, hang on, Mr. Know-it-all. You don't really know anything around it. I know a little, too. A little, yeah. Oh, like really? a wee bit. Really? I mean, you know a little bit, I guess. That's so. pretty nice. Yeah, and that is. Pretty handy, too, huh? Hey, folks, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Hey, how you doing? This is Ted Lasso. I'm the new head coach of the Tottenham Hotspurs.